Well, the victims of this crash are being taken to two different hospitals. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Sol is live at one of those hospitals, Westchester County Medical Center, and we know some are in critical condition. Marcus, what's the latest? Well, Sade and Dave, it was uh, this afternoon that a code was sounded in the hospital alerting medical staff that a major event had taken place and to prepare for an influx of patient, patients. Currently, three patients here at Westchester Medical Center. The hospital yet to confirm their ages or conditions, but we know this is a level one trauma center where the most seriously injured are often brought here by helicopter uh, from, this, uh, from uh, locations as far as Sullivan County. And so earlier, there were two helicopters here which is unusual in itself because those helicopters are not staged here. They're held elsewhere and then they arrive here with patients. Uh, and so we saw two helicopters on the grounds here of Westchester Medical Center. Now we mentioned that uh, code triage that was sounded that mobilized between 50 to 100 doctors, nurses, support staff, other medical personnel from all parts of the hospital to prepare for these patients that arrived earlier today. So we know there are three patients here and uh, they were also uh, 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 victims in that crash taken to Garnett Health in Wallkill. But Westchester Medical Center also says that patients were taken to St. Anthony's Community Hospital in Warwick and Bon Secours Community Hospital, which is in Port Jervis. Those two hospitals, part of the Westchester Medical Center system, though they are not trauma centers. So lesser uh, patients with lesser injuries taken to those locations to be checked out and evaluated. The more seriously injured patients brought here by helicopter to Westchester Medical Center again, where they are treating three patients.